All right, so here we are. We're going to go through how to produce a graph in Microsoft Excel. Now, this is a neatened up version of the video we did earlier in class, just as there'll be less noise this way. Okay, so basically what we do is we have an independent variable, which we have here, and a dependent variable. Now, our independent variable will always go on the x-axis or the horizontal axis, and a dependent variable will always go on the y-axis or the vertical axis. Now, with this one, we're quite simply, we're just calling it dependent variable and independent variable. I'm going to make one go up by centimeters and the other one go up by centimeters as well. So here is our data set. Now you'll actually see with our independent variable, that's the one we change. So we have three separate numbers here that we've just repeated the trials over and over. You will always have multiple trials. That's the goal. So what we can do is we can highlight the whole lot here. Very simple. Now what's important is that all of our data goes in two columns. Just two columns, no more than that, two columns. So if you have more columns than that, what actually ends up happening is we lose our, we will end up with like multiple graphs or the wrong sections will graph, particularly with the type of graph we're about to do. So we highlight, including the title. And actually the easiest way to do that is just control, hold down control and click on the best of them or alternatively just drag it across. We go to insert along the top ribbon here. Now we want to insert a chart, but it's this guy here. It's an XY scatter chart. Now you've got this one, or you've got these ones, and we don't want any of those. We want it to be nice and simple, easy done. Okay, now we're going to change the title of our graph, and it should be the dependent. Dependent variable, dependent. So it's just it's a slow computer because it's running the the camera. Dependent on the or on yeah on the independent variable. Okay, it's nice and simple. Okay, so if we go up here to design, in fact, I even go to format. No design. If we go over here to quick layout. The graph you want is that one. It's number three, and you can see that it's including a trend line. There are other versions, okay, that gives you some statistical data on it. Nice and simple. Boom, 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 boom. We want this one. Okay, so we expand our graph out. We make it bigger. In actual fact, what we can do is if we move chart, and if we move this to a whole sheet, it'll be easier to work in. Um, new sheet, click on that, and away we go. So now when we click on it, we're actually working on the one the one page, and it's a lot harder to see now. So we'll, we'll zoom in a little bit. All right, chart element, axes. So if you click over here, right, you get our chart element. You've got the axes, axis titles. We want these. Uh, error bars, we don't really want those. Uh, data labels we don't want, chart title we will want, and away we go. Okay, so if we now scram down and we have our axis title here, this is the x axis. So this is indeed control A for all. This is the dependent variable. No, sorry, come on, class, you know better than that. This is the independent variable, and the, it is in the units of, so it's in brackets centimeters. Over here we have this is the dependent variable and it is in the units of centimeters as well. Alright, that's good. We're happy with that. This one here we actually want this we want the, the trend line, that's what this is. Where if I can click on it, get it to work. Uh, we want it to look a solid line. Okay, so is how we do it. Perfect. Now we can actually delete this panel right here. We don't need that. That gives us a bit more. If you wish to change the scale of your graph, okay, that's actually really simple. So we can click on the graph here and size and properties. No. Access options. So over here. Now 
the minimum, it, it's only up to 1050, so it'll make that 1100. And the minimum, the lowest answer is 300 or 330, so we'll make that 300. And then we go down here, press enter, and we see our graph is starting to take up a bit more of the space. All right, and that'll do. So now you basically you right click on it, right click, copy, and you can paste that into Word. Nice and simple. All right, that's it. I hope that made sense. I hope it wasn't too stressful.